Hey, welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today it's time to put all the stuff together. We will add some lights and some atmosphere and we will do some compositing. Let's jump right in. Now we can start to build our scene. So first let's bring in here our car. I want to use this one here and uh, I will put a link into the description for this one. So let's bring in our first round. So instance to scene. That's okay. But as you can see, we have to put this car a little bit up here. So let's do this and go with maybe something like uh, this one. Okay. And uh, now we can go ahead and bring in here maybe our first building. So let's start here with building A. I want to make an instance to scene and let's put this to minus eight by six. Point two. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one by pressing Shift and D. I want to go with 9.1 by 15.4. So it's a little bit offset here. And the next one should be duplicated as well by pressing Shift and D. Let's go with minus 8.5 by 23.6. It's a little bit time. Go into the camera by pressing zero. And I want to change this view now to minus 2 by minus 3.3 by 0.78. Let's rotate this to 93.8 by 0 by minus 15.6. And I want to make a little camera change here. And let's go with a focal length of 33. And as we can see now, the car is a little bit here in front. So uh, when we are changing here now the coordinates so let's do this for our car as well let's change this now to 0 0.57 by 2.47 so it's a little bit more here in the front okay now let's go here maybe into the layout mode so we have a little bit more space and see what we are doing so that is looking better and now we can go ahead and build our scene here so we have these three buildings and i want to make some more buildings here in the back let's start to use here building b so instance to scene and i like to put this one here into the back to 10 by 37.2 and maybe to something like minus 10.5 okay and let's duplicate this one again pressing shift and d now let's go to minus 10 by 37 by minus 6. And the last building is now here 14.6 by 48.8 and 0. And maybe let's rotate this here to 90 degrees. And that's our scene here. And now we can start to go into the rendering. And as I said, I want to use here ev today so let's delete here this light and i want to go ahead and bring in here the ev settings so let's go with ambient inclusion bloom and screen space reflections and as always i want to increase the trace position the maximum roughness and put the edge fading down and we want to go into the scene settings and put the color here into the black. Let's go ahead and bring in here the first light, which is a uh, area light. So this one. And I like to use here a hex color like this. And I want to go really, really high. So let's go with 500 and 1000 which is really bright, as I said. So let's put this here down to 3.3 by 49, 49.3 and 5.2. Let's rotate this to minus 90. And I want to increase the size to 50. And we need contact shadows as always. So let's put this one on. And yeah, it's not the really cool looking Blade Runner style, but we have to change this now. So 
let's bring in here a fog cube and uh, maybe let's rename this here to fog and i want to change the dimensions to 100 by 100 by 100 let's change this one here quick to shading new material material fog now let's delete the principal bsdf by pressing x now let's search for volumetric scatter and put this one here into volume and now as we can see it's yeah it's a little bit too heavy so let's change the intensity to 0.5 and i like to go with another trophy of 0.65 to change the look a little bit i want to go and change the color here now to something like a little bit dark bluish and now we can see that we are having here more stuff going on here yeah in the fog which is really cool and maybe let's go back here into the layout mode and as we can see now maybe let's change here in the camera uh, the viewport so that's looking better and now we can see that the scene is starting to look cool but maybe let's go ahead now and bring in here a fill light and this one is an area light as well so let's press shift and d and i want to put this right above our car so let's bring this on zero by 20 by 27.8 and let's make it to zero rotation but i want to change this really down to 35,000. <laughs> and let's go with a cool blue to have a little bit more contrast here on this side. So now we can go ahead and duplicate here our stuff here in the front. Let's press Shift and D and I want to go with G and X and put this a little bit up here. Something like this. Shift D again and X. Put this here into the right and now let's do the same thing here again shift and d but i want to rotate this to 90 degrees and scale this a little bit up maybe to something like maybe to something like this here and put this back here so we're having more stuff here in the background and as always you can play here with this stuff and Shift D again, put this back here. Maybe put this a little bit up. So we are having here, or scale this one up as you like. So, and put this here up. So we have more stuff here in the background going on, which make this more interesting. So, Here's a little spot, so let's make shift and D and bring this a little bit up here. Yeah, and that's <laughs> that's our Blade Runner scene here. Uh, let's go into the color management and change this one here to very high contrast or something which you like. And yeah, if we want to have a little bit more realistic uh, stuff here in the reflections. I used here uh, the Cura as my quick render settings and when I changed this from work road to gen render you can see that's a little bit more realistic here with this one and for this I changed uh, the render samples here up to 28, volumetric tile size to 2, volumetric samples to 32, shadow cube size to 20, 48 and the cascades which you don't need because we are don't using any sun so um and when i change back to work mode you can see that we're having here these yeah tiny light gaps which is not cool but yeah so uh you can change here the settings in the uh volumetrics and in the shadow settings as well but if you want to have it a little bit more easier you can uh yeah use here my quick render settings if you want to okay and the last thing uh, which i like to do is because we are an eevee and i want to add a little bit tiny thing of grain here and um 
that's not supported right now in um, the compositor, real-time compositor, but uh, we can add this uh, over here in the compositing. So let's hit into the compositor, use nodes, but first we have to render this one 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 time. So let's render uh, this now. Okay, now we are having here our rendering. Now let's go and see what we got. So let's add here a viewer node and I want to make here a cut and put this one here in. Now let's go here into the viewer and zoom this one a little bit out. Okay, what we need now is a, yeah, a noise. And to do this, let's go here with the texture and we want to create a new texture. So let's go here and to this tab and create on the brush new texture, which is underscore noise. And let's go here now and choose here noise. I think we can leave all the settings here now, but now we have to select here this noise texture. Let's put this a little bit over here. And now we need a mix, a mix node. And we want to put this color thing here into the upper one and bring a new uh, mix node here, press Shift and D and put this here in front of this one. What we want to use is today uh, overlay and let's put this one here into this. As we can see, nothing is going on because we have to change this one here to multiply. But to change this, we can go ahead and bring down here now the factor. So let's change this maybe to something like 0.3. One additional thing is um, for this car, I added here some <laughs> glowy, uh, glowy lights here in the back. So I want to show you this really quick. This whole complete <laughs> material here is on this car. I added a new material for this one when we are pressing edit and I selected these um, these lights here and added a new material which is only uh, emissive material so uh, let's delete this okay now when we are going here into edit mode and select here uh, these these faces of this car <laughs> of, of these lights here maybe here on this side as well. So something like this, and then you can go ahead, uh, maybe this tiny one here, then you can go ahead to add material and add a new one, something like this and press assign. And now you can go and select your favorite color, which you like and increase here um, the strength and now you have some glowy backlights for this one that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there